Good morning, how are you? It's been a little while. I'm gonna try a new thing today where I just vlog half a day in my life. So there's a lot of different moving parts right now. I'm working as a doctor, trying <laughs> to work as an actor, and I'm in acting school. A vocal director at my church band. I am running a small group at my church. It can be difficult sometimes, like trying to keep all the pieces together. I don't know why I decided to do this this speech with this is what what annoys me about myself too i want it to be a cute vlog and then i will wake up fresh face not washed my face and put a camera in front of it like what is that i should be less authentic i think i need to be less <laughs> like you don't like i shouldn't genuinely have just woken up it should be like a, oh do a little something like hey guys just woke up but i literally just woke up i kind of decided in 2023 i wanted to like just do the things that make me happy. So I always have fresh flowers in the house. The things I always want is have my nails done. A neutral nude tip. Very short so I can still play the guitar. I'm getting a scale and polish at the dentist. I've never had my teeth whitened in my life. I've always just used tooth whitening toothpaste. Um, but I always get compliments on how white my teeth are. And I just feel like they're not as white anymore. I feel like they're going a bit yellow at the sides. So I'm going to get a scale and polish and I'm going to like ask the dentist, like, are these healthy enough for me to use strips at home? And maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I don't think I desperately need it. I mean, they're still pretty white, but it can always be better. Okay, I'm actually going to start my day. This was not the plan. I am going to go to the gym this morning. I did have a boxing class. I started boxing and yoga, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, I've been doing yoga for a while, but the boxing, I absolutely love, and it is such a good workout. I use <laughs> this cleanser, not because it's particularly amazing, but it's just huge. It is absolutely huge. I bought it just to try it, and I was like, meh, it's okay. But now I'm like, I must finish it. And this is like probably a year's almost a year's worth of use, like it has so many uses. And I've been trying to pack more. And I got this overnight curler from Amazon. I don't love it. Oh. <gasps> it's just broke. I just got this like four days ago. I really want to return that because I cannot be bothered to sew that back in. And this cost me like £15 and it is literally 3p worth of material and, a, and this. The Amazonification of the world is something that will be studied in years to come. Anyway, it doesn't do a lot, but it does what I want, which is a little boom, 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 a little boom, boom, boom. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> baby, turn around and let me see that pretty baby. See that. Baby, turn around and let me see that sexy body go. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. <sighs> Oops, I should stop, otherwise I'll get copyrighted because I sound just like the original. Vitamin C serum. I think this serum is kind of contro because it's kind of sticky and I don't want to say gloopy, but like, I don't think everyone will love it. I think some people will try and be like, it was so heavy on my skin. Of course, dragging stuff down to the neck. I always find it funny, like, I'm just hoping that over the 90, 120 years that I do this skin routine, that the back of my neck is just doing its own thing and staying pretty because maybe I don't know if she knows a product I don't know if she's seen a product she's seen shower gel and moisturizer and then this is my vitamin D spray <laughs> so oh it's running out I take some I did three sprays not because I'm overdosing but because very little came out of each spray and it's supposed to be one spray daily I should get my bloods checked. In fact, I am actually getting a blood test soon, so I'll ask them to add on vitamin D. Of my CeraVe moisturising cream, I do use two. It's like really thin and like, 
I don't know, it's just thin and easy to spread. What I use next. Because it's just a lot thicker. It's a lot, a lot thicker. Don't know if you can tell. But I feel like this deeply moisturizes. I don't know, I just feel like the combination of both like this almost, it feels like it seals everything in. My greatest regret is that I accidentally bought 30, not 50. And I usually always get 50. That's fine, we'll risk. Risk it all for a little while. Okay, let's undo the rest of these. Oh, let me get a brush. I do use this hair oil mixture. Um, and that's all I use to like lay down my edges. I'm not really a massive edges gal, you know what I mean? Like, like that to me is already edges. I mean, I'm about to work out anyway, so I don't need this to be perfect, but, um, cause I'm literally just gonna tie it up, but yeah. Here's my, <laughs> here are my overnight curls. I think they turned out really well. I'm joking, they did not. I think I need to get, Sadly, I think I need to get another one of these. I think I need two of these so I can put smaller sections in because otherwise they're very loose. I'm very excited for ice coffee season it's already just like the brighter evenings are already and the sunsets in this place i love them i'm gonna sit down and reply to messages while i have my coffee So I'm ready for the gym, like an hour later than planned, but this is my outfit for the gym, which I guess you'll see better at the gym. My dental appointment is literally at half ten, but this is literally going to be a half hour session. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to make a decision that I'm not going to rush today's gym session. I actually want to get a good workout in. I am going to go back upstairs, do some life admin and emails have some breakfast, then go to the dentist, then I'll come back and go to the gym. Okay, that's a decision. I made a decision. I made a decision. I am just gonna sit down and do some work. Do you wanna see how pretty my spring flowers are, by the way? When I said that I'm always keeping fresh flowers in the house, like, how gorgeous are these cuties? They're so pretty. So what I do is I buy multiple bunches and then I kind of like put them together. I mean, you can kind of tell that I arrange these myself. Um, but they do stay fresh for quite a while because I trim the ends regularly. They probably do another trim. They're gorgeous. Like, they're literally about to die. I've trimmed these so many times. They've lasted so long. But look how well they like fill out the vase as well. And this is them like on their way out. Imagine when they were fresh. And these are also, yeah, about to die. But they just make me so happy. Like, how can anything be so pretty? It's just gorgeous. Saddest breakfast of two poached eggs that I literally forgot about and some blueberry. Oh, it's not that sad actually. This is nice. I like it. <laughs> some blueberry and cinnamon oats. <laughs> if you notice in this video, I've been getting a little bit progressively more annoyed. It is because um, I'm supposed to have an acting class today at 3 p.m. Um, but for whatever reason, my acting school are saying that it's cancelled and it's a it's very frustrating because we took a while to arrange it our teacher was off sick for a while 
Um, so we all found a day that we could do. I booked off work. I'm a locum doctor, so if I don't work, I don't get paid. And we're cancelling it. And it's very frustrating. I'm going back and forth on emails at the moment. Um, and it'll be fine. I'm just... I think I have an issue with that, actually. I think I have an issue with being cancelled on. <laughs> um, because there's so many moving parts in my life right now, once I've written something in pen in my diary, it's there. And it takes me a while. Like, I do not say I can do something unless I 100% know that unless there's an emergency, by God's grace, I can do it. And so when then when someone then cancels on me, no matter how, like... Yeah, I think that's an issue. I don't... I've, I've had moments where I've not rearranged something because someone's cancelled. I've been like, oh, never again. <laughs> so I think it's really bothering me that I had this day plan and that they've cancelled. And I'm like, that's cost me money. And not, yeah. And also we're never going to have that lesson now because it's the end of the term. Whatever, I need to go to this dental appointment, so let me just eat and go. I'm back. From the dentist. And it was an interesting experience. I feel like my teeth. Focus, babe. Focus. My teeth feel no different. I usually really like going to the dentist because they numb you up if they need to do something and then I just fall asleep in the chair. The hygienist I had was interesting. She was very like aggressive. So there was a, a doctor or dentist, sorry, doing the actual cleaning. And then his assistant, she was so like aggressive. <laughs> like physically like aggressive and also before I went in I heard her complaining about my booking she was like no one told me no one blah 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 and I was just sat there like I did book this last week so so maybe she was annoyed maybe she was having a bad day um but yeah there was a lot of like <laughs> and she wasn't really suctioning so like water was pulling in my mouth so I had to ask just to be like oh can I spit and then she was like no and I was like I need to spit and she was like and so I went to spit and she was like oh you can just swallow it it's just water you can swallow it oh <laughs> I could have vomited I could have vomited like, you want me to swallow dirty tooth water and she was literally like suctioning my lip randomly who knows maybe there was a bit of something on my lip but all I know is that it felt like you know when someone sticks a hoover to something and it's like and it was kind of un it was it was uncomfortable it wasn't painful but I was like I've never had <laughs> that experience with sectioning before. Like I've had a few dental appointments in my time, and that's the first time I felt personally, physically attacked by <laughs> the assistant. Um, and then after the treatment, the dentist was like, oh, you know, there wasn't a lot on there. You see, they're fine. And I was kind of like, well, what a waste of time. <laughs> oh. I think I do want to whiten my teeth though. Because I took a little before and after, after video and I was like, I've always had white teeth and I feel like my love of coffee might be catching up on me. <sighs> I do feel like I've been very negative this morning because I think it's because of all the confusion with acting class. Like there've been so many issues with our show coming up. We're doing a show in my acting school and there's been there's been a lot of confusion, cancellation. So I think it's just frustrating when it's like, okay, I've organised my day, and then there's a last minute change. But I do think a positive has come out of it because because I didn't go to the gym in the morning, um, and I now don't have a class at three p.m. I can go to boxing class. How cute is that pink car? I want a pink car. I really, really do. Okay, let's go box. I do actually think I have a lot of angry energy to get out in boxing class today, so this is well-timed. It's all good. <laughs>
so much better. <laughs> I literally feel like a new woman just because I've exercised, which is so funny because I also feel like I'm about 30 minutes away from being really hangry. I feel so much better and it's actually crazy how much I need exercise. I think that's why I love a first thing in the morning session. I did stop at Waitrose just to get my free two hours parking. These bananas are cold. So I just picked up some bananas as you can see. But got some, ooh, a, three lemons actually and some fruits. As the weather gets warmer, I've been um, obsessed, sorry, and some oranges. I've been obsessed. Oh, my thought was a fly. Obsessed with smoothies. Some grapes. Also recently realized I prefer green grapes to red grapes. Some more grapes because they're two for four pounds. The other two lemons up here. And I do just get like chicken. The sun is shining and I'm so happy. And I want to sit down and plan little day trips and getaways with my friends because I feel like every time it gets sunny, I suddenly have, I start feeling FOMO. Like I'm like, I should be at the beach. I should be living my best life, living wild and young and free, making the most of the sun. Why am I indoors? I should be doing something fun. So I need to plan fun things so that anytime I start to feel that FOMO, it, not even FOMO, I would call it FOMS, fear of missing summer specifically it's not like oh my friends did something without me no it's just fear of missing summer wanting to make the most of every sunny day because they're so rare in this country um forms and i don't want to get forms this year so i need to plan some fun activities so when i feel the forms i can say no sarah look at your calendar you went here you did this you did that you're okay 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 May. Man, man.